Hello friends and bees and friends who are also bees and welcome to this we uh, today's I should say surprise Destiny 2 stream. Um because it's Valentine's Day on Sunday, I'm gonna be streaming a game that's not Destiny on Sunday. Um so instead, um we are going to be um checking out the new season today rather than leaving it for like two weeks. Um so we are gonna be checking out um uh season of the chosen seeing the new story what new stuff has popped up all that good stuff um so i am going to swap over to the gameplay and cry because i think it's not picking it up the cabal. there we go the vanguard showed them that the light cannot be tamed so easily really it was us who showed them but stepped forward, stamped the red legion into extinction instead i ran the banner and watched the city's victory dull our edge once more it should have ended before they fattened us before they exploited us before they forced us to lift up a murderer as our savior Another cabal warmonger now leads a fleet off Nessus. No more waiting. We will be there to put her in the ground. Very dramatic. I've actually not watched the season of the Chosen trailer, so. <laughs> I like just eat pizza and I'm pretty certain I still have crumbs stuck in my throat, so if I like keep choking to myself and coughing it's because of that. Even my people have a word for peace, but we do not use it often or lightly. Shit. I wouldn't have summoned you if I was not sincere. Sorry. Oop, there we go. The darkness crowds the edges of this system. The hive serves it. You'll fall to one, if not the other. My world. It was perfect. I'm sorry for what you lost. We have all suffered. I propose an alliance. Cabal don't ally. They conquer. She betrayed her father to Gaul. Don't think she won't put a gilded knife in your back, too. My father was soft. He lacked ambition. As you do. Humanity won't survive unless the commander expands his horizons. Join my empire. You'll keep your title and gain a seat on my war council. With my army and your light, the Cabal will crush the Hive. Then... The Black Fleet. Bow. No. Very well. Ready yourself, Commander. I'll sharpen my gilded knife. And see you both on the battlefield. Once again, I fall weakness to the fact that she's strong and cool, and therefore I like her, even though she is our enemy. Whew. Okay, whether we wanted it or not, here's what we're doing. I wanted to do uh, is oh, I need to buy a season pass shit well 
I'll do that in a bit. What I actually wanted to do was, okay, that's fine. Listen closely, girl. Callus's daughter, Empress Kaido, has arrived at our system, hoping to reunify the Cabal Empire. We've spotted an Imperial land tank tearing through Nessus. Ikora thinks it has something to do with Kaido's efforts. I want boots on the ground for a closer look. Thank goodness, I can still do the um. Can still do the hunt from last season at least, right? Okay, well, in that case, I'll just hang about by myself then. Those that they are. My phone is buzzing. Hi, Puggy. Where am I being shot from? I cannot see a thing. Puggies here. Okay. Somebody here was like dropping, um, like lightning, and I'm a big fan of it. Oh fuck, wrong button. really um I've actually looked at my uh probably actually looked at my um gun loadout before hopping in here but why would I ever do something like that? Why would I be sensible when I can instead be incredibly stupid? Congrats me on uh, getting an achievement. Ah. God, I can't believe people are already fucking 
like to level 27. How long is this bloody kit? <laughs> it's been like two... A handful of days. How do people have that sort of time? How can I acquire that sort of time? I don't know what to do with this, um, so I'm running and yelling. Huh? No? That wasn't what to do. on my head. Whatever ability it is that's like dropping lightning bolts down on people, I'm so in love with it. Well, that's not the button I wanted to hit, but it's the button I have hit, so...
two, that's what. Well. Shielded. Okay. There he is. Ow. That was rude. Bag. Nice. Uh, we'll do in a minute. Right. Do the war table and complete challenge that's proving. Then defeat Cabal with rocket launchers. Cabal gold by doing stuff. Trophy chests and focus using the engrams. Technical stones. Famous challenges, talk about in Europa. Yeah, that's unlikely to happen. Um, okay, we'll just let it knock us out. Um, it's a strange artifact including new victory spools. Zala wants to see this. Report to the new helm space for your findings. Which is okay. I really need to buy the season pass, but I'll do that once we've um once we've landed, as it were. Uh, luckily. None of these have gone, which is what I was really worried about. Um, okay. Welcome aboard the Helm, Kirk. Hi, Zola. Okay. Warriors of the Empire, I see your fury. For years you have waited for your leaders to reclaim you. But I have no shame in your decision. Your rage becomes the swing of the cleaver, the thrust of the shield, the shout of the cannon. I send out a challenge to the remains of the broken 
I've got to say, it's not ideal. What else is going on around here? Time for me to be incredibly nosy. The war table is a notification from Osiris. Impressive work, Guardian. You'll get a full briefing soon, but in the meantime, let me fill you on that Cabal artifact you pick up on the Nessus. It's known as the Bell of Conquests. I've attached a reading with more details, but in short, by claiming that bell, you've officially declared yourself challenger to the Cabal Empire. Kertor's commanders won't stop coming for you until they see you buried and the bell retrieved. You made a bold move, but I believe we can use it to our advantage. We'll talk more soon. Nice. Well done, disrupting the Cabal on Nessus. I wish that was the end of it, but unfortunately it's just the beginning. Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. Our conversation was as well as you might expect. Thanks to the information you recovered, we know this. Former members of the Red Legion and other Legionless Cabal are all competing for a seat on Keitel's War Council. In an effort to prevent Cabal reunification, I'm assembling a team to take out her aspiring commanders. Lord Saladin will act as field commander, and Osiris will report directly to me as my advisor. He's appointed a new hunter, Crow, to be your reconnaissance expert. Yay for the Crow. Orders, Amanda Holiday will provide air support. Your task is simple. Defeat Keitel's commanders across the solar system. Once you eliminate their leadership, Cabal infighting will prevent Keitel from amassing real power. If we miss this opportunity, another all-out war will become inevitable. Good luck. <laughs> Defeating Commander Dracus has halted the Cabal push on Nessus, but Nessus is not the Vanguard's only concern. Cabal all over the Sol system have started vying for Kertil's attention, hoping to earn a seat on her war council. This cannot be allowed. Osiris has devised a strategy for rebuffing the Imperial Cabal incursion without total open war. Kertil is using an ancient Cabal tradition known as the Rite of Proving to select her war council from the Red Legion commanders to bring them back into the fold. Any challenger may approach these rites. Vanguard High Command directs Guardians to engage any and all prospective war council appointees. With each disrupted rite, we send fractures through their Empire's authority. Oh. Right. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Defeat. Right. I'm not going to do that on the, on the stream, um, so bear with me. Um, how so is it? Jesus, right, sorry about the awkward silence while I sort this shit out. Um, cool. Did that go through? Cool. Well, 
listen, I've got silver now. Right, so. Meet Cyrus uh, and Crow near the war table in the tower's helm. Hi, buddies. Well, just one of you. There you are. Hi. The new style suits you. Spoils of victory in the rig. Flint chose the material. You haven't let me pay for any of this. You want to repay me? Keep that mask affixed to your face. It will protect you from the city's ignorance. I know what it's for. If this is what it takes to make a difference, I'm in. I've had to walk these streets. Now I am welcome. Soon you shall be too. With patience and caution. Can't imagine Osiris ever like being able to discuss himself. They think their tank is a show of strength, but it is no iron book. Saladin will hold the line so our attention can be directed elsewhere. Names are needed. Example. My friends in the Reef have been talking. At this point, Red Legion commanders are either brutes or braggarts. Not the type for subtlety. They want Keitel's attention. We will use that information to direct our fury. Create a power vacuum and show the Cabal the path they've chosen. Miss. Together in the field. Huh. <laughs> I'm starting to get the impression you all like having me around. I do like Crow, I have to say. Deliver my silver to me, meow. Over this way, question mark. Ah, oh, it's been ages. How are you doing? Guardian, when the Dark Fleet arrived, it changed many things, including Engrams. Some of them now behave much differently than before. The Cryptarchy needs your help in studying these changes. Of all the unlikely sources, it was the Drifter who create, first created a device for altering armed Engrams. Now the Cryptarchy is using his design as the basis for further research. It will provide you with the equipment for further research on these armed Engrams. In return, please help us by recording the results of your experiments. When the Black Fleet arrived, the Cryptarchy discovered that Umbral Engrams and Legendary Engrams are generated through similar processes. How or why the Engrams change is still a mystery. However, we have a tool for controlling the contents of them. We call them prismatic lenses. The Drifter is yet to divulge how they're constructed, and it, truth be told, it's possible he doesn't know either. H here's the final prismatic lens remaining from our previous studies. It's quite fragile, and we estimate it has a single charge left before it breaks. Take it, along with the Umbral Engram, and try uh, the focusing process for yourself. Focus of these umbral engrams remains a source of fascination. The potential applications are endless. I'm still wary of interacting so closely with the darkness, but we can no longer avoid it. Do you think the Dark Fleet is attempting to communicate through these lenses and engrams? There is still much to learn. Return to the helm with any prismatic lenses or umbral engrams and let's continue our research together. Cool. And then we can go back over this way and with something or so I thought Okay. 
anything else to say? Cool. The dragon of your light roars over Nessus. Our enemies feared you, Guardian. Osiris mentioned you crashed a cabal ritual they call the Rite of Proving. He seems to think it's not unlike our crucible, made for settling scores. I don't see the resemblance. Scraps of the Red Legion are competing to earn Keitel's favor. Just like her, their hands are tied by tradition. They're forced to meet every challenger or forfeit their position. We can exploit that. I want you to run down every Cabal commander you can find. If they're foolhardy enough to accept a fistfight with you, Keitel's War Council won't fill a single seat. To that end, Crow has spotted another of the Empress's hopefuls on Europa. They call him Vasilius the Golem. He's looking for Golden Age relics to excavate from the... That's the sort of thing that I would Vasilius do. Vasilius intends to augment his body offer combat enhancements to other Cabal. If he succeeds, it won't be long before Keitel has an entire platoon of exo legionaries. That's terrifying. Get in the way. Dear of exo Cabal, Cabal Xo. Europe held a treasure trove of technological and paracausal assets. Right now, a cabal commander named Vasilius is skulking through the ice, looking for anything he can find to present to the Empress. Saladin wants you to fight him, find him, and disrupt his search by challenging him to combat. Either he fights you and dies, or he runs and dishonors the rest. Okay, right. can have little silver they just bought. How long does it take for silver to be delivered? weapon, Guardian Games, and other stuff. Deliver my silver. Yow ow. Like that emote. be good if I was like fiery but alas what have we got here eh eh what have we got this week for dust Not enough to spend bright dust that I could be saving on it. Right, let's take a look at our quests. So, investigate cabal movements on Europa by the battlegrounds. Um, as well. Right, let's look at the new stuff we dropped. I 
need to buy a bunch of upgrades. That's what I need. I have no upgrade modules whatsoever. Star Cabal War Bell, known as the Bell of Conquest, is a standard example of a traditional combat artistry known as Galsankus, literally blood etching, popular during the Era of Lead, before the Cabal extended their reach beyond the immediate star system. These objects commemorated martial feats and personal victories, but varied widely in appearance. Peasant mercenaries often simply stitched the carved teeth of their defeated foes into their leathers. Those with more resources sometimes claimed the entire torsos of vanquished opponents to preserve, lacquer, and display as busts. The Bell of Conquest was a less grisly chronicle of the victories of its owner. Unadorned bells were given to warriors at their first blood. Those who wished to challenge a warrior in combat would request their bell and ring it seven times. As warriors collected victories, they would have artisans decorate their bells to commemorate their glories. These adornments allowed the bearers to call upon benefits of honourable combat related to the past victories. A warrior who completed the Trial of Beasts could bring a trained war beast into a duel. A survivor of the Flayed Knight was allowed to cut the opponent twice across the stomach. Those who'd withstood the cold iron mouth could coat their blades in caustic white ash. Defeating the bearer of a war bell entitled the victor to claim it as their own. The clapper at the bell would be carved with a shallow engraving representing the previous owner's cause of death. Ownership would fully transfer after the engraving had been worn away by new challengers ringing the bell. At that point, all the privileges the bell bestowed upon its former owner would be granted to the new holder. For this reason, elaborate war bells were both highly sought after and highly defended. War bells continued to be carried into the galactic colonial period, and the decorations became even more refined. Intricate mosaics pressed with precious gems became symbols of wealth and granted further allowances and jewels, while also creating a larger incentive for would-be challengers. As the scale of warfare increased, the logistical difficulties of claiming war bells became apparent. Captured war bells were sometimes melted down en masse and recast as elaborate war gongs, and there were specific rituals in place for space-faring rivals to ring the gong and challenge. In the post-Red Walker Bell, few soldiers adhere to the tradition, as the Bell of Conquest is seen as a cumbersome relic. Nevertheless, they may still find a place of honour aboard the ships of those who wish to respect the combat traditions of their ancestors. Um. Just rifles, scout rifles, hand cannon. Okay. I got this. Shotgun that does not have any law, and as a result, I am going to eat it. My friend and own first. I know her royal tuskiness is not my assignment, but I couldn't help but catch the following exchange on my latest trip to you know where. If anything is it's good for that. Don't that favourite praxic wear you down to a nub. If she gives you grief, you give her a swift kick from me. Uh, identity is advised to Turin and Priscatel, the spider. The connection is made. Let the imperial record show that on this day, the great empress Kayatel, a son of Kala, slayer of Womanara, convened via radio message with Spider of the Tangled Shore, formerly the house of enough Tyrone. The scribes can have whatever flourishes they wish after the fact. Yes, let's not waste time. I know you have more important matters to attend to. Matters that I would be happy to help with in my own small way. I would no longer seek aid from you than a war beast would from a bog tick. Do you know how many thieves I've had to excise from my ranks? They debased themselves, crawling about our proving grounds, refashioning battle trash into weapons, all because you tempted them with a flash of glimmer. Me? Tempt them? It's all I can do to keep them flooding the market. This is not my first time dealing with war profiteers, insect, but if I squash you thoroughly enough, it may be my last. And here I thought I was doing you a charity, promoting cabal entrepreneurship. I was told the cabal was, uh, empire was low on funds. Is that so? Your Majesty, I don't know what advice you've been getting from your Imperial hangers-on, but how dare you? Quiet. But things are different here in the Soul System. Smash and conquer, like so many traditions of old Torah battle, won't get you far. Go find that out the hard way. The remnants of this Red Legion have learned to adapt. Let me know if you'd like to do the same. I'd even go against my own custom and consider a payment plan. How generous, but it seems I have no need. As you've revealed, I have untapped resources at my disposal. Whichever ones have survived your purge, yes. But weapons are not my most valuable wares, not by a long shot. If you're anything like your father, you'll be far more interested in the information I have to offer. Send your coordinates. We can discuss face to face. But tread lightly. I've yet to decide whether you're worth my mercy. Oh, I'm honoured to host your Imperial Highness on my humble shore. It's no palatial estate, but we insects are just happy to have a place to call home. I 
do, that is a nice looking gun it has to be said right. okay here seasonal storyline quest or vendor upgrade focus tier tier three seasonal chosen mods defeat four champions in the battle crown playlist speak with banshee to begin that thing can i get more law or did i make that up i guess i made that up okay pretty but I'm I'm also I love my corrupted right how do we get out of here that's the question I have do you use from the front nothing and I'm still waiting for my silver to be delivered I see. Cool. Um, let's go speak to Banshee. Sorry, I'm just checking to see how long it'll take my uh, silver to arrive. Apparently, um, if you ben Banshee tunes that his unfinished weapon frame as you approach him. Lots of things come into light recently. Maybe it's best to put it out of your head and focus on the simple things. Banshee looks up from his work. Get everything in tune before moving forward, you know. Here's your kit. Keep them on their heels. You got it. Rifles, SMGs. Oh, I forgot we're not we're not getting uh, weekly bounties anymore. Right. Don't know if anybody else has got new quests, but. Ooh. Nice. Don't 
look about me does exactly that. Are you ready? It's fun as trying. Okay, well, anyway. Deals in all manner of goods. Just bought silver. Fenchurch says a lot of fantastic things. There we go. Good lord. Took long enough. Happy season pass to me. Okay. Message from Empress Kertel of the Cabal to all legionaries and soul. Warriors of the Empire, the Imperial Crown calls to you. Ghoul failed us and the Red Legion paid the price in blood. You have been scattered and abandoned, hunted by our enemies as you learn for home. But Toro Battle is no longer ours. The combined fleet of the Empire has entered soul space. Come back to us, our comrades and kin. Rejoin our ranks and help me mend this fractured empire. Through honour and strength, we will write the next chapter in our empire's storied history in. Centurion flipped the switch and silenced the comm device. She peeked out of the cabin's makeshift scrap metal door and saw asteroids drifting over the, the shore like sleeping goliaths in the lavender sea. Screeb chitters echoed through the air, grabbing the centurion's attention. She snapped the door shut and readied her slug rifle, listening as the sound swelled. When silence finally returned, she crumpled against the wall and wearily dropped her weapon. The gun had been issued in a family's name and begged in a brother's blood. Now it was a fading memento, lying in the dust behind a vigil, vigil of empty helmets. The message played again over and over in her mind, and she snarled. A crown, a gauntlet, a chalice, nothing more than metal tortured with heat and moulded into something else, into someone else's village. What did the Empire mould her, her into? The lone moan of some ancient cable resonated through her pressure suit, now comically oversized for her atrophied muscles. She swung a gauntlet and crushed the comm device good in measure. Thresher entrance roared in the distance, the sound of countless legionaries answering the call. She hunkered down and fell into a deep slumber. I kind of prefer how those look to the Wild Hunt ones, but... What matters not is not how things looked. Kautor smiled as his daughter walked ahead, dragging a hand across the soft filaments of the ballad blooms. Bioluminescent pollen swelled in her rake, barely visible in the glow of sundown. Kautor closed his eyes and inhaled deeply, revelling in the heady scent that marked the beginning of the wet season. Why did you bring me here? his daughter asked. Even as she spoke, Kautor pictured her from memory, a small child frolicking brightly coloured robes. He opened his eyes and saw a full grown warrior in a towering battle suit. He gestured towards the plate of broadsword stowed on her hip. The scribe said you fought her uh, fero ferociously, inspiring this morning. Oops. My blade is insatiable, she replied, branching the weapon and pointing it playfully at her father. Her smile diminished slightly. You could have seen it yourself. Kautor did his best to hide a wince. I will soon enough, Tanan. Tanan sheathed the blade. Dried grass and petals crunched under Kautor's cybertons as he met his daughter and placed a hand on her shoulder. So what's this about? A reminder of home on the eve of battle, Tanan asked. Father scoffed. Do you really need reminding? Tanan grimaced. I missed it every day. We all do, her father said with a heavy sigh. No, I wanted you to have one last chance to see it with your own eyes. Tanan turned, her brow furrowed. Last chance? Enough, Kautor called out. A low rumble resonated through their bones and the world shifted. Distant mountains undulated and stretched towards the sky. Flowers burst into clouds of wriggling bubbles. The world blurred as light and matter drained like viscous fluid towards a growing rift in the sky, a shadow that grew until it consumed them. They woke aboard, woke aboard the Barbatos Rex, still streaming through the stars. Their hands were clasped around the handle of a rusted antique blade. A scion stood nearby as the last spectral tendrils of cosmic energy connected the three of them desiccated. Kautor nodded at Scion. Leave us. I don't understand, Tanam said as soon as they were alone. Kautor held the blade up. Four generations ago, this weapon earned our family's place in the Empire. Its history makes it a strong locus for the mind walk. He studied the knife carefully, testing its weight distribution. But history is the um, the luxury of the, uh, luxury of the victor. 
Kato took the weapon in both hands and broke it in half, grinding the brittle metal in his gauntlets. Talon recalled slightly. Father, this world the world this came from is gone, Kato continued. Home is no longer behind us. It is ahead in the distance, past a towering mountain and over a great sea. Talon nodded. We are Kabal. We eat the mountains and drink the seas. Kato leaned forward. But you cannot do this if your hunger is sated by indulgent revelry. So we will never walk these thoughts again. Tarnam stiffered. I understand. Sold is a graveyard for our people. But those warriors never watched our cities burn in soul fire. The memory of home should not be a comfort, my child, but a wound that drives your blood to frenzy. Tarnam nodded, but the knot in her gut forced her to speak. Do you know them, father? The soul warriors? Kato smiled proudly and took his daughter's hand. I do not, my child, because I feet with Tarnam and her blade is insatiable. Hail, warrior of the Empire, Empress Kato said as she approached the bedside of the wounded Red Legion Centurion. The soldier had been gazing solemnly out of portal when the sound of her voice startled him. He turned suddenly, then winced in pain. Kato saw dark and synthetic fabric enveloping his torso, and the entirety of his right arm, which looked frail and withered. She knew immediately that this cabal would see no more battles. My Empress, the warrior responded, clasping his fist to his chest with the unwrapped arm. Kato saluted in return. The Empress glanced at a monitor displaying the patient's data. Valdast, born of Valtui. She looked out the portal, the brilliance of soul being back at her. The Empire has returned for you, Red Legionary. Your, your heart seems heavy. Why do you languish? Valas looked away. I'm sorry, Empress. Do not be sorry, my brother, Kaito said. Valas sighed. For years, every day has been about survival, just trying to stay in the fight. But now? He trails off and grasps the sheets of his bed, a cheap fabric but still softer than anything he'd felt in years. When you evolve so long, peace can become its own struggle, Kaito said. Valas let the fabric fall from his hand. I thought I was Acrius reborn, claiming another son for our kind. He gazed out the portal, but I failed. Kaito smiled. I've always loved that tale. She pulled a stool over and sat. Did you know there used to be more to it? Valas shook his head. It's an older version, not as popular in modern times, but I was lucky enough to learn it as a child, she continued. Before Acrius, three warriors sought to climb a great mountain and grasp the sun, but a terrible beast stood in their way. The first tried to outwit the beast and sneak through the shadows, but the beast smelled and stood and ate the warrior in a single bite. The second tried to escape the beast, crafting a device to harness the wind and soar upward, but the fickle wind changed its mind and tossed her into the beast more. The third warrior challenged the beast head on, Severus and blade, hands rather. She also fell to the beast's gnashing teeth, but not while her blade tasted blood. Balas frowned. They were failed? Kato considered the question. The first two, certainly. They thought battle could be avoided, but the third warrior died with pride and honour. Balas pondered for a moment. Even defeat, she left her mark on her foe. Kato nodded. And then next time one of her kin faced it, the beast would be one blow closer to her death. Did more come? Valas questioned. Of course, Kato claimed. They were cabal and the sun was theirs to claim. Over and over their mightiest fell, but each time another wind was struck, until the day came when a warrior landed the final blow. That warrior was Acrius. Valas frowned. Ever since I was a child, I saw Acrius as a hero. He may have been, Kato replied as she struck, uh, clasped uh, Valas' hand in hers. But so was the warrior who struck first. Valas' eyes glistened as he held her grip firmly. Thank you, Empress. Kaito shook her head. My brother, it is the Empire who thanks you. I'm just gonna like hop away from here so I have less of her like honking at me. A burst of electricity shatters a tree, showering Nessus, Vermilion Fauna across the battlefield. Vatok the Scion has been a coward before, and not even just once. As he raced behind a Vex tower and clutched his empty rifle, he recalled his legacy of hasty retreats. He'd won from the wire rifle and floods and self fire barrages on the detritus of the Lotillas of the Reef. He'd fled the relentless advance of the chronom chronom chronomatons, nearly boiling in a suit amidst the Mercurial deserts. Most of all, he'd run from the light infected tusks, the undying guardians of Sol. Time and time again, he saved his own neck, only for the Legion to find a new assignment and cast him back into the fray. They knew he was awake, but with Legionaries falling in droves, there was no other choice. A roar sweeps through the canyon as the smoking thresher tumbles end over end into oblivion. Vatok bore no guilt over his survival. T to a scion, survival was all he had. There was no honour to be gained, no advancement within the ranks, no wealth to be accumulated. All the Legion left you was with your life, and Vatok was going to make that last as long as possible. 
but that was before Gaul had been melted down to atoms and scattered across the stars, before the failed gambit with the warlock's time device, before the almighty, glittering triumph of the Legion was tossed like a pebble and swatted aside by an indifferent god. Now came Empress Kaatul, and with her, the promise of something Vatok never imagined he would have. Freedom. The full might of the Empire had arrived under cavalcade of frigates and carriers, filling the space between worlds with destructive power. For the first time in his life, Vatok's choice was not merely just to survive, but a choice of what to live for. A colossal sparks kept running and cry, a cacophony of slug rifles echoes in response. The battle swirled around him and his compatriots fell. He could see the route to safety. Dark crevasses tucked between Tequia where he could run and hide, where he knew he could survive. Vatok relays his rifle and sings an oath to an empress. He had been a coward before, but no longer. Keep being like, oh, I prefer how those boots look, but then it's like, ah, oh, but I've already like invested in the ones I'm currently wearing, so, you know. Cryptarch analysis, analysis log R11320, stolen Cabal data. Author, Master of All. What follows is a translation of a Cabal data file that was acquired as part of Operation Haystack, as ordered by Commander Zavala. This log focuses on a single file we were able to decrypt. For the report, full report on the contents of that data breach and further decryption attempts, please see log um, R11312. Ostensibly, this file is a recipe for a dish to be served at some sort of official gathering in Kaatul's honour. The ingredients mentioned here have been seen in a variety of ancient Cabal texts, and an analysis of the Empire's economic history implies that they are considered cheap and undesirable. I believe this recipe is both old and born of the lower classes, a case of poor labourers devising an ingenious yet challenging way to take unsold goods and turn them into something comforting and delicious. That Kaatul chose this as the main dish for an official gathering speaks to the optics she wants to present. She may be trying to differentiate herself from the opulence of the Carlos era and the utilitarianism of Gaul's rule by relating to the common folk of the Empire. Note that decryption was only mostly successful and some data degradation occurred. Grouped Arts comics are in line for ease of understanding. Some translations remain ambiguous, but I've provided my best hypotheses. Until the solvent mixture is blended together, pulverize atlatl tendons until just pliable and surfaces begin to crack, then dredge in solvent mixture and let soak for uh, uh, an amount of hours. To make the black cube, crush citrus mixture and drain through a sieve. Discard juice, retaining pulp and bitter pith. Compress solids in kitchen vice. On maximum heat until blocks is uh, something to the touch and chard. Place in sun area to cure. Once tendons are soft and stretchy, remove from the solvent and rinse in some water. Slip it slice into ribbons and set aside. Take a loin of atatl and hook to a rotating device, then slap across stone surface until fragment. Fragrant. Cut loin into tetrahedons, making sure to slice across all grains and set aside. In a large cauldron, add water, shawrack oil and appropriate root mixture based on season and year. Bring to boil, then add loins and tendons. Cook until mm, no longer float and fluid has an ochre sheen across the surface. Mm, more hours thickening until broth mm, off the back of a ladle. Serve with thick slices of the black cube. I do love that. Um, The two legionaries reached through the armoury of the deposed emperor. They swept the rubble aside and lifted a bow of sharp metal, its thin frame of blackened blades bound with wire. This is the ones a scion made, so you can't miss. Huh, how they do it? They put time in it. Kinds of time. Kinds of when you shoot, that's when the ar arrows always hit. Never even miss. Not unless you're going to anyway. But if you do miss, it'll make a time that you don't. Right, and this was the time when you did. It was the third day of the dry joining. Tuka's voice was rasped raw, but still he clutched the bow to his test and held it placid in his mind. Tuka melded his thoughts with an arm, a bastardised metaconcert, one voice in the expanse, a temporal harmony of one. Three arrows, hissing faintly with solar power, bristled in his fist. Then an echo, a rusty whine of horsehair on frayed wire. Tuka plucked the bowstring. Spots of blood appeared on the floor. He plucked again, filling the air with oppressive vibration. Blood welded it from his fingers and dripped to match the pattern at his feet. How does it make arrows? They come from time because they got put there before. When you shoot it, how's it know what heads to hit? Goes in time and gets a future where heads always can't get arrows in them. But which heads, though? The ones that already had arrows. Tuka's mind emptied itself, dissipating across the pitch and throb of what was to be. Time was an empty wheel around him. His song held it, and the joining pinned it into place. Three points of harmony between the will and the physical. His fist rose. Three shaft pierces, Y-shaped people. They'd always been there. Three points, pushed through forever. 
Firing this weapon fires multiple tracking projectiles. Targets marked. Where these projectiles explode upon death, or when struck by another sacred flames explosion. It is, I have to say, incredibly pretty. I'm a big fan of that. Um, right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna vault some stuff. So that is going to be vaulted. Um, Eat this. Um, same with these. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't want to. No. Take that back. Um, I'm gonna vault that because I barely ever use it. I'm gonna vault that as well. There we go. Sorry, I'm just. Right. So we're going to pop that on, grab that, I'm going to eat some of these. Ah, fuck, I need some. Just, I love how the bow looks. Got a catalyst for that bow of yours, Spanchy says. Think I've always had it, but I don't remember getting it. Charge the catalyst with energy and I'll work on it for you. The next time, can you just bring me a regular gun? Nothing that collapses timelines or whatever. So, all the power, defeat guardians, it's unlikely to ever happen. Really. Cool. Well, thanks for that. Cool. Um... Just look really pretty. Uh, actually, I'm gonna eat a bunch of these. Probably shouldn't do, but I've got my sword and I've got my machine gun, the only ones I really care about, so. Actually, I'm not gonna eat that just yet, though. Uh, and we do have a law. Let's read this quickly and then we'll head out. Valmarak had been stationed in the place the humans called a dead zone for years now, though he had no commander, no handler. He held the territory on his own, defending it from stinking vermin hive. They reminded him of the tiny red beetles that crawled around in the dust where he'd come up, the ones that swarmed war beast pens and crept into woven clothes. The best way to get rid of them, his mother taught him, was to hold a flame close to the seams of their shells. They snapped and popped in the heat. He found the same to be true for the hive. By now, he stopped expecting anyone to come for him. Their invasion had become a death sentence, one he'd accepted for the nature of his position. He would die for the Legion, with or without the promise of reward. I'm gonna scoot away from this guy so he stops talking to me so I can finish the law that I was. Ugh, go away, stop talking to me. Finished reading that law. Oops, here it was. Uh. As Varmrag listened to a transmission from the Empress Kirtle, he thought about how far he'd come since he was recruited, since he was pulled out of the poorest royal district on his planet. With this new challenge, with the new Empress sending a call out into the system, he could go a lot further. Europa was cold. Basidius was no stranger to cold. He'd been stationed on Mars before it disappeared, before Asvalus sent him and his reports off planet for a recon mission. He didn't care for the internal resource gathering, but Avalus' law, or at least he was. After a false start on Nessus, they'd brought the cruiser to Europa, the ice human was crawling with thieving fallen, but there were secrets buried in the ice. Dainty human technology. 
It didn't interest him, but the Scions loved to tinker, and they insisted there was something here worthwhile. Something that could catch the attention of an Empress, hoping to regain favour with the scattered peoples. Something that might win a soldier like him, with no valuable titles or reputation to his name, a new level of recognition, and the respect he deserved. As the voice of their so-called Empress droned on from a beat-up radio, the soldiers ate. Commander Dravis picked up the bones of a roasted bird, gun laid across his lap. The little red wing, uh, red violet winged creatures on Nessus didn't have much meat on them, but they were challenging and satisfying to trap. What do you mean, ancient rites? An old legionary asked. The commander looked up. Old-timer traditions? Dravis snorted. An honoured tradition, he said. Beloved by the Praetoria, warriors take on challenges to prove their battle worth. He eyed her. Cars like you wouldn't remember that. Is it open to anyone? The legionary asked. He laughed. Well, he she growled, are you taking challenges? She squared her weight. You can start with me. Dravis looked at the bald young up and down, calculating the effort. He had no great desire to impress the disgraced emperor's pampered daughter. The leader he knew and served was the Dominus, dead or alive. But maybe there was money to be gained from this. Uh, he wouldn't turn his nose up at the prospect. He tossed the bird bones aside, lifted his gun and fired a shot straight into her belly. She fell. I win, he said. They called her Ixel, the far-reaching, because she'd risen far above her station in a fraction of her lifetime. They called her Ixel, the far-reaching, because she pulled things from her mind that should be out of reach from memory. They called her Ixel, the far-reaching, because she grasped everything she couldn't or have. It was all true. On the strange train of the Nexus Centaur, Ixel had extracted herself from command. The Volus had been uncreative, small-minded. He hadn't seen the value in the Vex technologies that might amplify Ixel's unique psionic talents, so she killed him and poached the unit's best fighters. Hard to say if this competition was open to traitors to the Empire. And yet somehow, this new Empress, foolish though she was, might be inspired by bold action. Not to mention the things Ixel could pull from the prediction engines. Intelligence beyond the Empress's imagining. They called her Ixel, the far-reaching, because her ambition was limitless. Intriguing. Now that we've finally done all that... Head over to Europa. We got to hop into the battlegrounds. Um, we've also got to. We'll chat to this exo stranger first, and then we'll go into the battlegrounds. Exo Stranger welcomes you back. She's impressed by your dedication to wielding stasis with care and focus. Mastering stasis is the first step towards understanding the darkness, she says. It's guardians like you that will help us escape the future for humanity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
You've got it. Okay. One of our Pokies is called Jarvis, the other is called Zipbop, which is a nice set of names. We need to upload reload, uh, up, upload, up, up, reload speed. time. Off to next. Over here. achievement. So I may as well, you know? This is why I'm hitting my super. Oh 
I'm gonna chase some corpses. There's the name. I'm not entirely sure on how to use this bow, but... Let's go beat up some Let's go ball. gets lost. God, I love the warlock. Warlock jump, so much fun. up to us. talk the same way about the elixir, especially in the tower. Shax openly jokes about killing them. Some guardians wear their bones on their armor like they're animals. It's different when you've walked among them, shared a meal with them. Well, I ain't gonna be sharing a meal with no cabal anytime soon. Like, valid, but also I totally get what Crow's saying about the elixir, you know? Trials of Osiris returns. Destiny 2, uh, yep. New stasis and fragments available. Don't know why it. Okay. Visit Phyrex. Go hand this in. 
I'm sure there's another... What's difficult? Work. You will raise pieces when defeating combat to competence with stasis. We'd love to see it. Especially given that I need a whole bunch of them in order to get the next empire hunt. Oh, thank goodness, there's a teleport here now. <sighs> Finally. I'm just going to pop down to talk to the Exo Stranger because I'm fairly certain she should have another quest for me, but if she doesn't, she doesn't, you know? Um, I do need to do aspects of control. Nope. Okie dokie. Head off to the helm. And I guess for now we're just going to be running battlegrounds. Just running battlegrounds a couple of times, I'm guessing. going to use an auto rifle so god i'm hungry <sighs> Hello. As you approach the table, you notice the ceremonial hammer retrieved from your last mission. A warm golden light radiates out from the head, mouth and uh, eyes of the cabal face sculpted into one head of the hammer, as though a fire burns inside. It was an offering, a sorrow says from behind you, from the Red Legion to Kayatol. The crypt house can provide more nuance about its history, but what matters is its purpose. A symbol of cabal culture, power and entitlement, one you now wield. Asari spreads his hands and says, Master the hammer and forge yourself a way to victory. Okay. And if you combine SFG, power, combatants, energy weapons. How do I get? Oops. 
encounters of vulnerable combat to be issued, skirting the risk of total war with the Cabal. I recognise the judgment that must be socketed with Cabal gold. Um, hunts. Nightmare hunts, dungeons, and find well. I'm fairly certain we have a new strike, but I can't remember where it is. Um, Google uh, Season of the Chosen Strike, not strokes. Okay. I don't know if this will count. Um, yeah, exotics. Uh. Okay, Devil Slayer and Fallen Saber both set in the Cosmodrome. Taylor strikes. Okay. Uh, Raid launcher. And Gambit wins on Nightfall strikes. Okay. this and we're going to go run some gambit first though we are going to pick up some uh we're gonna head back into the tower to pick up some gambit thingies and i am gonna try and work out why i can't see the new strikes um Drifter. Yeah, that reminds me. Fuck are those those four. Still confused by those. Hi. Oops, why did I do that? those and that and 
go chat to the drifter. Annoyingly, the um, thingy for Lost Light keeps pinging me because I have... Um, I got one of the things you can use to buy... Uh, I got one of the exotic ciphers. Um, the problem is that I don't get... Um, I don't have enough of... Like, I can't otherwise afford anything like of the... Um, I can't afford any of the weapons. I'm still, I still need to save up for them. Um, so like, it keeps yelling at me and it's like, there's nothing I can do. I can't afford what you, I haven't got the money for it. Hi. Hey kid, looking good. Thanks, that's very sweet of you. Ah. to see it. Um, gambit. Okay. Helmet. Arms and... Fucking done any gambit, that's why. Like this, that will absolutely convince me. Um, right, complete gambit match, high value target, arc abilities, that's unlikely to happen, summon primevals. Let's be competent with melee blows. Cool, right, let's go run some gambit. <laughs> hmm? oh, it's just pointing out that. That's where I am. And... Let's run a couple of Gambit matches. I don't know how many we need to get that amount of Cabal Gold. Um, Got a bunch to grind up for salvage or salvo, so. No, I remembered what I wanted to check. Now that's a nice. That's a, that's a nice. That is also a nice, even though I don't tend to use them. I'm absolutely in love with with the aesthetics of the weapons this season, I have to say. I'm also still in love with Gambit. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we've got. Cabal on the field. How appropriate. Thing is, I could like swapped. There we go. Get ready for a firefight, brother, and drop those moats in the bank. I love Gambit. I think I say this every time I play it, but I could genuinely could and have just spend hours playing Gambit. I, I prefer it to play the strikes and I prefer it to um to Crucible, like, by far.
I'm gonna go. We love to see it. You might well go. Yeah, we're doing it. Just uh, waste my. There it is. Found it. Go. Love to see it. Please don't kill me. I would be very upset if you did that. I had two more I could deposit a large blocker. Oh well. having spent it all on that high value target. Thank goodness I did not accidentally hit my super there, which I absolutely thought I did. need to pick my upgrade modules up. Nice. 
should put the PDA tag on here given that I'm uh, doing Gambit as well, but whatever. Going to grab some heavy ammo. Ow. Oh, we're trying, dude. We sure are trying. mentioned that um I love Gambit. What a haul. I promise you I'll do something special with all these weapons. Something that'll make you shit. Oh my. What did I just get? I just got something. More gambit, more gambit. Oh, I see. So it, I guess it's like weekly challenge. I don't know if they like reset. got something there. I'm just not sure what. I 
rather not, but you know. We were extremely cool, that's what we did. I really do. I could have and will spend just like, just vibing, spending hours playing um, some special ammo that would be just beautiful but oh. there we go that's the stuff No modes there, but that's okay. We'll use this time to reload. Unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Task one. Take this dipshit out. I'm gonna go hand these in rather than risk it because of who I am as a person. That was very rude. This is not our round, I have to say. Eight, eight. 
I'm so big, quite frankly. Okay, well, the fact that we're being invaded means I'm gonna go hand these notes in, because I am scared. that puggy came and like <laughs> and spent all that time killing that fucking oh god and puggy's like hell yeah brother i'm just gonna take all of the notes there as I waste my grenade like a fool. God, whoever amongst you is taking those invaders down is my favourite. <laughs> Just 
running away until the invader goes. Nice. Yo, welcome. Seriously, whoever is like taking the invaders out, I love them so much. You intrepid. If there were comms in this game, I would give it to you. Nice. Unlikely to happen. So, God, I love Gambit so much. Nice. Right, so, pardon me, goodness. Oh, I forgot about this. You use Cabal Gold to... Where the fuck's my hammer improving at? I'm like nearly done with Cabal. Okay. How do I? I need, I need to get back to the tower. I found it before and now I've completely lost it. Maybe I do need to go back to the tower. So 4% per match, 100 divided by 4 is 25 and points by defending competence, so increasable gamble or strike playlist, applicant, wins, I guess it's like less if you don't get it maybe, and do need. You already do, don't worry. Ah, 
fuck's sake. I just don't know. I can't find the hamlet anywhere else though. So I'm guessing it is. here. Cool. I feel really stupid for not knowing where to go here. Okay. Previewing challenge perspective. Command to encourage chaos. Distribute chess at the end of the battleground to spot the right of previewing. Band on the director under Vanguard missions. I like how this looks. I should swap to Void, given that it's Void Singe, but I'm really enjoying playing. Oh, I should swap um, also. Given that I'm really close to finishing Auto Rifle, I'm going to stick with these two. Yeah. I'm so close to this. Guardians is going to take for fucking ever. I suppose I've got to get, I might as well grind duality and um, thingy at the same time. Alright Guardians, the Cabal are determined to dig up something bad and they've got the head start. They're going to need to hustle to close the gap. Hang on, I just, I had to, um...
wonder if we could just like by if we did each a different one each time. I wonder if you could like save time that way. Capital to rifle calibration. Sorry, it took me a hot second to die. Um, I had shit to do. God, I love this weapon so much. I could probably use this weapon and this this bow alone. If only there was still that gambit quest for um getting bow kills in uh, gambit, I would. Absolutely fucking rocket. Go for it. Pick up some more ammo. Sure, love some heavy ammo soon. Ow. When champions enter the arena, There we go. I will eventually. Ow. 
I'm, I'm enjoying this. Just fun. Just good old fashioned fun. Champions being defeated means... have to, to fight these guys so I should probably just get out of here but love to. Um, right now I'm still trying to catch up with everybody else.
nearly done with energy weapons. Whoops, no, I want that. Being like, oh yeah, I should probably like okay. have to go. Fuck. Someone that guy, he is who we need to fuck up. Yes. When they um when they they uh they took out the gun that I'm using and I was like I literally don't know how to play the game without it. I'm getting better but I still really like it. Okay. Oh, 
No, I didn't want to do that. I want to head back here. Explore our, our new things later down the line. One grams to you. Game reputation. Oh, I guess if like we achieve something then we ha can access that, I guess, question mark. Anyway. <laughs> another notification from Osiris is present on the war table. It's working, Guardian. Each challenge you issue sends another fracture through the Cabal's confidence in Kaito's leadership. Unruly systems have broken Cabal leaders before. Keep pushing and do remember to take the spoils of your triumphs. By Cabal law, those offerings belong to you now. Maybe we can make something with them from the hand that you're wielding. We're approving to Okay. Seasons chosen weapons. I want weapons. table holds a message from Lord Saladin. Your efforts on your rope at Nessus were commendable, but there are dozens more opportunities at Cabal looking for a promotion. Sharpen your teeth on her commanders, Guardian. If Zavala won't press Kairos to eat directly, we'll have to settle for a death by a thousand cuts. Cool. Take a look at our new items. I'm not going to, I'm going to eat these because I'm pretty certain we'll drop something better soon. There is a story of two weaponsmiths, both skilled at their trade. One smith, Dutus, worked with metal she pulled from the mountains herself. She tooled the rifling in her barrels with the steady hand of an artisan. Her dye is cobalt and ichor, shone bright as a beetle shell. The other, Gauhet, came from the distant plains. He traded for his wares and sold them dear, and thus he amassed great wealth. He embellished his goods with a rich lacquer the colour of flame. When the Primus called for the strongest warriors to serve, the district knew the fighter Thalmus, who had broken all challenges with a keen aim and powerful frame, would represent them. Both Eutus and Garret wished to outfit her with the finest pieces, as having a warrior of their status wear their colours would bring them great honour. So Dutus formed Tlamas a mighty war axe with a nice blue handle and white golden blade. Tlamas accepted the gift gladly. Garret procured for her a slug rifle with the bright orange plating, and Tlamas wore it proudly across her back. 
Next, Eutus crafted a shotgun, metal burnished deep as night, with right vents along the sides, and climbed support it into battle. In, Gar uh, in response, Garhet brought a helm with thick plating and stout antlers the colour of the sunset, and they were soon stained with the blood of Clams as well. And Dutus saw no end to this. Her shoulders ached from working the forge and hands were blistered by burns upon burns. So Dutus issued to Garhet a challenge, and as he knew no one would raise the weapons of a coward, Garhet accepted. The next day on found Dutus on the battlefield waiting for her rival. On her shoulder was her finest weapon, a rocket launcher. It spiralled a twisting column of sheer cell blue with gold trim, built as a gift for Tlamas but now wielded by its creator. From across the field, a figure strode forward to meet Dutus, but it was too wide to be Garhet, too tall to be muscular. He had brought Champion to fight in his stead. An orange slash was draped carelessly across her chest and dragged in the dust with each confident step. Studded orange leathers found her massive arms and thighs. Strands of coral beads hung from her tusks. She greeted Dutus with a fist to her chest. I am Talamus, chosen of Garhet. Dutus could not find her voice, and then Talamus knew one of her beautiful, terrible weapons, and the right was soon concluded. That is, it has to be said, a really nice gun. Bonus power. Give a hit. Which can get precision final blows. Unlikely to happen, but earning ranks is likely to happen. This is in trials is never ever going to happen. Using the chosen mods. Not wearing season chosen armor. Battle on champions so I'm wearing season chosen armor. Storm Iron, Adventure Upgrades, Return of the Law Page on the Battlegrounds, Cabal of Gold, Interest, Focus Engrams, Engrams, Debit Briefings and Debriefings. Apparently I've, I've got sleepless, I don't remember getting it, but there we go. Ooh, oh, oh, I do like how that looks, I have to say. Right. Seasonal challenges. How do we get those upgrades there? Let's do one more battlegrounds. Could also do um, a hunt, but I'm not going to do those now because they are not particularly interesting. There we go. Just 
Drawing blade is what I've done. But I might... Yeah, the impact is like... So small that... Really, I need to run some more Gambit to uh, get that done, but... A great way to get champions. Okay, good. Well, we're all fucking babies, which doesn't help. swap back to the bow but pretty good with what I've got I think I'm gonna swap to my machine gun actually there Stop shooting me. Fucking Cabal Thresher. Give me who all these pieces when I defeat you with um I can't see ammo now. Right, I'm ollying out of here. someone pick up the thing I put so much effort into into getting
Bloody thresher. Meow. I would love to, Amanda. Unfortunately, I'm too busy being unable to fucking drive to do anything. I'm so glad that I no longer have the hellish load times that I used to. Run away from them. may not be guardians, um, but... It's, uh... Champions in here are still a pretty good way to work towards a Hawkney. Might as well, you know? I've got it, so I may as well use it. You know?
there it is. Yeah, oh, sorry, I'm on the way, on the way. and it still took me by surprise. sword actually. There's your shield buddy. There he is. to both of our plugins? Um, no, just one. Okay. Sorry, I don't have anti-barrier rounds. where to slot anti-barrier rounds onto either which doesn't help um. thank you little Rick Sorry, I... should actually probably go ahead and slot some before um there we go need to google where to slot them onto
don't remember how to solve that. What to do? I just can't do it. Not great at this, but I will get better. This, I swear, to me. Please stun him. Thank you. For the rest. Oh, thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to machine gun. I'm clearly not capable enough to uh, sword fight this guy. the two of us can say that, you know, we were the ones who, uh, we, uh, duoed this. I need more, more health. More health, more recovery, that's what I need. was harder than expected but there we go Fighting them. On fire. Watch them slaughter civilians and 
lightless guardians like like it was nothing i had no idea he didn't hear traveler blew gall out like a candle flame and they're still fighting us they're cabal it's what they do all they know no one fights for nothing Watch as we both sit here like who's going to get this one? Well I'm I see. Okay. One more and I will get of that. Nice. No new laws. Okay. Well, folks, in that case, I'm going to end things off here. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. It is very, very, very much appreciated. And I do hope that you enjoyed. Um, I will be streaming. My anger that things aren't going when I hit the buttons. Um, I will be streaming Neural Automata tomorrow. Um, we are going to be uh, finishing Route C2, as I've been calling it, and getting Endings DNA. Um, then on uh, Sunday, it won't be Destiny 2, uh, it's Valentine's Day, so I'm going to be streaming a game called One Night Stand, which I'm excited to check out. Then on Tuesday, it'll be Final Fantasy XIV, where we're going to do the Valentini's Day and Little Ladies' Day events, and um, you know, just our normal general hanging out, run a Delebrum, run some raids, all that good stuff. Um, and then next Thursday uh, we'll be Hidrashi When They Cry Matsuri Bayashi where we'll continue trying to put together the perfect tune. Um, so yeah, take care, have a wonderful evening and I shall see you guys tomorrow.